There we go. I do apologize for that. My streaming got cut off. Uh, which wouldn't really happen considering that I share a house of just myself. But for some reason, my I was having issues with my Elgato software. Um, so I had to like restart the app. Um, and hopefully I get like some good picture on here uh, just so I can uh, make sure that it's working properly. But um, I'm not even sure where we left off. But uh, let me go ahead and backtrack on my last record see see where it was and wh where it started cutting up because I was just in the middle of like my whole story behind Resident Evil my whole history um, so that was pretty strange and I do apologize for for that that yeah yeah there we go so yeah i was talking about um I, I, i'm gonna get back, get back to the game in a bit but uh yeah that's where i cut off so i was really talking about code veronica um code veronica was like the end of an era for the whole lineup of resident evil um and um and originally it was supposed to be released on the playstation one uh, after Resident Evil 2, but development uh, changed over over its um, over its course, where they wanted to push it for a much more uh, advanced hardware, which would later be the Dreamcast, and the Dreamcast w would definitely like uh, showcase more of its uh, technology on display here. So that later turned into Resident Evil 3 Nemesis, uh, which was the cap off for uh, the whole run of Resident Evil in that whole in that fifth generation era. But pretty much with uh, Code Veronica here, uh, the elements still just remain the same, but it's got more of a tracking camera uh, when you progress across uh, many rooms here. Uh, but uh, it pushed for more 3D animation, and you got like a good display of cinematics from the prologue. Uh, but you know. Uh, Character models uh, have improved since like the last three games, uh, so there's a lot, a lot more detail to grasp. And well, um, well, an advancement from uh, Resident Evil 3 Nemesis uh, gameplay itself is again, it's just as uh, how you find uh, a traditional experience in uh, a classic Resident Evil game. Uh, very stiff tank controls, which will add into the tension. Um, high angle um, or overhead uh, use of camera shots to showcase uh, where you are. Uh, whoa! Showcase where, where everything is around the corner. Uh, if there's something creeping around the corner, obviously. Um, and I just got hit once. Uh, last time I kind of like took a bit of a took a bit of damage uh, than I normally would in my uh, usual let's play um, and so yeah this was a um, this was the uh, flagship game for the Dreamcast uh, Dreamcast excuse me but under just the Co Veronica name until Sony was releasing the PlayStation 2, so they wanted to port the game over to the newer console, and uh, that's where you got, like, the X title uh, at the end of it, which meant, like, you know, more crisper graphics, um, and a lot more material, including cutscenes involving the uh, franchise's uh, uh, key villain, Albert Wesker himself. So yeah, this is here is the the export on the PlayStation 2, um, and uh, I'll probably crank up the volume in a bit. But um, this was uh, one of many games that I looked up like I, I looked up like um, obsessively on the internet. Uh, like, like I said, growing up, I didn't really have much access to the Resident Evil games, so my best bet just to get into pretty much just like the whole franchise of Resident Evil was just looking up uh, let's play clips or like fan-made game movies off these um, 
of these older titles. All right, so I got my handgun here, and eventually this section will be, uh, let me see here. Yeah, because uh, I think I, I had like a little finicky, uh, uh, finicky bit of trouble here where, um, because uh, there are some cases in the game where you have to interact with uh, certain doors or little valve ports uh, to uh, make certain keys or find certain items to fit. But it turns out I was just missing the emblem in the uh, in that other facility, in that other building that I'm going to head into very shortly, which will be the one with the metal detector entrance. Because... Uh, the Hulk emblem wasn't something I had to trigger through that gate, but I wanted to do so just for good measure. But it turns out uh, I was missing the... Um, I forgot about the emblem uh, I was supposed to uh, grab off the uh, off the desk in one of the rooms. So right now, uh, there's a bit of a beat here where we're going to be... Um, Finding more guns, uh, no, more guns, excuse me, um, a bit more ammo, as well as, like, two, um, two dual wielding guns, uh, in this room coming up. Um, so, you're expecting to take a lot more damage, uh, if, um, the, if, I mean, it depends on your skill set in this game, but, uh, in return, the game does, uh, like, reward you a bit more, but, uh, Funny thing is, uh, I was playing Resident Evil 3 Nemesis Sunday, and uh, and it's there's a shocking difference in the amount of things that the game gives you, and I will say, Resident Evil 3 Nemesis really beats this one in, in a very wide margin, because you mainly want to uh, survive under uh, red herbs, and red herbs are pretty scarce uh, in, this, uh, in this game. But red orbs are a lot more abundant in uh, Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. And I only play like up until the, uh, uh, the stretch where you have to find uh, the uh, tools to get the trim ready. Uh, once when you meet Carlos and his, uh, uh, and his group of like uh, mercenary soldiers. And come to Papa. And that's where I had to stop. But uh, I would say, like, I would say, even though it, it's def it definitely has the label of being like an add-on on top of Resident Evil Two, I find Resident Evil Three um, like a much more varied and fun game than uh, th than people led on to believe that it's just mainly a, a DLC attachment. Uh, which is ironic considering that the remake of Resident Evil 3 was very much a, a add-on DLC, but they just put in a $60 price tag just to compensate. And given that, given Resident Evil 3 remake, uh, I found that completely unacceptable uh, with how the game turned out. And it, it really disappoints. So in order to get by, um, health items that I use, which uh, I don't really guzzle myself on red herbs, I tend to keep like a a two a two green herb combiner at all times because you know it it definitely it definitely help, helps out in most cases because um, while you're likely going to take damage all the way to caution status, uh, the two herb pack is definitely a good filler up to uh, get you back on your feet. And yeah, this is we're going to get teased with dogs, because dogs are not as abundant as based on like my playthrough of Resident Evil 3 Nemesis, but they're still pretty annoying uh, if you're not careful with how you avoid them. And I kind of almost put myself into a corner here, or maybe I did, but uh, there's a there's a zombie, 
There's another zombie around. Uh, that's when I put the camera around. Yeah, it's on the right hand side where I can't see him. And what I want to do is uh, open up the uh, the shutter gates, uh, which will be which can be unlocked from inside this uh, this building. Already, I'm pretty low on pistol rounds. Please deposit any metallic items you have in the security. Yeah, 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 we know. Oh, let me uh, let me go ahead and crank up the volume for a sec. Give me one moment. Thirty five should be. Be a little too loud. Sorry, I had to like reset my link, considering that the uh, the last stream crashed on me. And I should be good. Okay, right. So, gotta toss this shit in here, including the lighter. So, yeah. Oh, right. right, right I'm not supposed to it. Okay, cool. Yeah, including the lighter. So, if you think like uh, important items on your screen are not worth uh, dumping into, then. Uh, yeah, you're wrong. Now, there are some... There are some there are some gamers that did Let's Plays on this that were able to uh, find a glitch in this section. Where uh, he was able to get by without having to dump all of his guns and his weapons into that uh, deposit. And so that made it uh, that made it easy for him Chris to get Blitz. by because once when I come back here for a second visit, zombies are gonna burst in, of course, here? and um, and so Chris you're Red. mostly gonna be uh, defenseless against them brother? if you don't ah. find the uh, the glitch you exploit. But I tried one time and uh, it's well, still it I still can't really get by. by but, you know, what? You can probably find this trick on YouTube, but I haven't really attempted it since. I've got to contact Leon and tell him to let my brother know he's being monitored. It's a good thing I have access to an outside connection from here. Well, that file shows the latitude and longitude of this place. <laughs> Why don't you send your brother the coordinates and ask him to come help? Thanks. I'll do that. Hey, I will say, um, as a take, there's no way this game has, um, 
yes, fell did. under a bit of contention with uh, Resident Evil fans, uh, no, and I know that oh, there's like on. a, I wouldn't say an outrage, but we there is a collect, up. a collection Please. of I negative uh, flack on Resident Evil Code Veronica. What was that all about? And to me, it just felt like you know, uh, disregarding uh, lore retcons. Uh, Halo Reach, for example, fell under that category uh, with uh, Halo fans and first-person shooter gamers. Um, and that's that's to say that like it's not really it doesn't really deserve the uh, the flag that it gets um, because I still find myself really enjoying it. It's definitely a much more challenging game because um, I do think um, I do think something like Code Veronica X. Uh, was um i'm oh, sorry not just x but co veronica itself i do think it was just like um it definitely uh set the bar visually in terms of where it was evolving into but i think as like maintained the whole um traditional design for resident evil's gameplay it kind of set itself uh set itself back in places which kind of took people off like um uh, enemies are a lot more difficult. Uh, there's definitely like um, a, a lot more puzzles this time around, which uh, I know people don't really tolerate the puzzles. But um, wait, let me set this. Oh, I can't do that. Um, let me set this here because I am a little overbooked on items. And you know, Resident Evil has the reputation of being. Just a cheesy B movie, but an interactive B movie that you could uh, engage yourself in. Um, and yes, this one kind of like it doesn't shy away from the bad voice acting in places, especially with Steve and um, what? Oh, I thought I fuck. I forgot to open the switch because I was too caught up in the album. Another case of the Let's Play curse. Alright, I think I should make my way back there again. I gotta do this. I gotta do this right. I'm even putting myself on edge, hoping I don't forget anything. I, I do really enjoy uh, Code Veronica. Um, I'm gonna leave it just up to dual builders. Because right now, since I finally opened the, uh, the shutter system, all I gotta do is uh, kill a bunch of Zombaloids and grab the fire extinguisher that I'll need to unlock the uh, briefcase that you'll find that contains the, uh, the fake alloy to make the uh, good rubber plant. Uh, The dual wielding system is definitely not as gr grandiose as one might find to be because um, the weird thing about its dual wielding play is uh, uh, we have two zombies or two enemies in the same room and they're far apart. Uh, the guns will point, each gun will point at um, either of them, which will lead to less damage, uh, less damage tables on the enemies. But, you know, if you... Oh, wait, wait, no, 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 no. Gotta grab the, uh... Gotta, I gotta grab the, uh, the small key for... Yeah, for that, um... Uh, get a door, uh... That I need to walk around and unlock. Oops. Because I'm gonna be pounced by dogs, but good thing that that hasn't happened yet, because I wanted to, uh, grab the key first. Anyways, if you have a dual wielding set on just one enemy, then they take a lot more damage as you can probably tell. But, oh no! Doggos! Yeah. 
Well, since the dogs are definitely dead set on getting me, I might just well just come back. And yeah, it's some more zombies spawn. Whoa. That was a close one. And I keep forgetting, yeah, right, there's a zombie right by that door I need to get, get into. Here is my briefcase that I need. Awesome. And a carryover from Resident Evil 3 Nemesis is that you can interact with items that you find in the item box. So that way it opens up a new key or uh, some gun parts, etc. Okay, I can get by him. Cool. 